Good day everyone. So today we are at a five bedroom house where we are carrying out the electrical installation works. So we wanted to take you around to see what's going on and the works that we are undertaking so far. We are currently walking inside the living room and dining area. Please do excuse the mess, there's still work ongoing. Now to my immediate right, uh, I've got two power points over here. The smaller one is for the TV and internet supply. And the bigger one here, that's going to be for the power point or the sockets for the TV itself to power the TV. And at the base, you've got extra power units over there. Now, there are two sizes to these now. First of all, these are the conduit boxes. So the smaller one is the three by three and the larger one is the three by six. So those are the sizes. So as we go along, any one of the conduit boxes, which you see that is bigger, that's the three by six and the smaller ones are three by three. And as we move forward, you'd see some of the exposed PVC pipes. So you'd understand how it works. So we're gonna walk up ahead to see the extra uh, power points. So over here, we've got two of these conduit boxes that will house the ceiling fan. One of them will control the uh, spotlights in the ceiling. And then the last one will be for the AC units. So the same thing over here as well. We've got some units here where one of them will be for the power point, one of them will be for a ceiling fan, and then there's gonna be a separate air conditioning unit for the dining area. So this is the dining area. And at this point you can see we fixed the conduit box and we're just placing in the uh, pipe work. So this is the 20 mm PVC pipes. So that's what we're using for the works. So this is the dining area. We've got two power points over here. And then we've got another switch right here. So this switch can control the dining area. And then if I come around, over here, there's an extra light switch. So basically, if you're coming from this end, you can just turn on the lights. And then if you move in from this end as well, from the kitchen side, you can also turn on a light over here. Now, over in the distance, you can see some of the uh, extra lighting for the living room. So from the living room, you come to a private lounge, which will be for your guests when they come around. So in this room as well, we've got a uh, double socket over here, PowerPoint. Uh, right over here, we've got a switch for the air conditioning and for lighting, uh, extra PowerPoint, which we're still about to fit. And right over here, you've got your internet, which uh, is will be lined up with the um, TV. We're carrying on. Now we're walking up ahead and going to the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. To the immediate right, when you walk in, you've got a power point and the air condition switch over here. On this end of the wall, once again, we have our telephone and TV point, uh, PowerPoint to power the TV, uh, extra PowerPoint below. Over here, which are where, that's where our bed will be placed. We've got some PowerPoint on the lower end. And then we've got control switch for the lighting and ceiling fan as well. So you can just be lying in your bed and you don't have to wake up and walk all the way to this end here just to turn on and off your light. So right by the bedside, you can control your lighting. So another power point over here for the master bedroom. Another power point right here. Now this is the light switch for the bathroom and also for the water heater. And to my right, this will be the built-in closet. Now, uh, all the plumbing works have been done. So, the toilet unit, 
the shower, the sink over here. Now, this is the power point for the shaving machine. So if you want to use a shaving machine or any electronic device, this will be the power point for that. And this is the power point for the water heater. Okay, so now we're gonna walk onto the other bedrooms. So I'm just walking out of the master bedroom. So we are in the hallway over here. There's a light switch for the hallway. So over here, we've got a separate uh, washroom and uh, WC. Uh, we have our shaving machine pass point over there. All the other lighting facilities are have been provided. It's a bit dark in there, so uh, just walk on to show you the other bedroom. So this is the second bedroom. So right as we walk into the second bedroom, you've got the light switch, you've got the ceiling fan over there. Uh, you've got your telephone and TV point, power point for the TV, uh, power point for any base units. Uh, same, similar layout. So right by the bedside, you've got uh, the light control and AC uh, switch as well. And right over here, there's more power points, water heater and light switch for the washroom very big very large uh ensuite bathroom with a toilet and hand basin and everything okay so now we're walking on to the next bedroom it will share that toilet and bath unit over there so likewise the power points are over there for the bedside unit so over there and then when we come across over here we've got a TV internet so everything uh, in terms of the internet is going to be all integrated the wiring is going to be connected to every bedroom so every bedroom will have internet access so you've got your light switch and your ceiling fan over here for this bedroom so we're going to the fourth bedroom which is at the far end right here. So this bedroom is en suite. Immediate right, you've got the light switch, you've got the AC, and then you have the power point for the water heater. The TV and internet and power point for the TV will be right here. Over here is the bedside. Uh, control for the lighting and for the ceiling fan. This right here will be the built-in closet. Uh, I believe that was an afterthought, so the space has been created. Uh, the ensuite bathroom will be here. Power point for the shaving machine. All the plumbing bits are in there. So all done up okay so we're going out coming back to the hallway so as we're walking through this hallway to the immediate left you notice that um, we provided the conduit box for the light switch so these are the light switch that will control the hallways so there's three of them here to control the hallway and this is the laundry room it's a bit dark but uh, if I can just show you to the left, right here, this control unit for that. Now, we've come to this end here where we have this conduit box, which was serve for the monitor for the uh, doorbell. Um, so basically, this area, that's where you'll be able to see when somebody rings the doorbell at the main gate. Right next to it, there's an additional light switch. So this will be the light switch. Uh, when we come out, I turn to my immediate right. We're going into the kitchen. So this is our kitchen. Now it's a very, it's quite a decent size. So what we've got here is we've got a power point just above the kitchen counter. Uh, we've got one here, which is close to the floor area, which will be a double socket. So we can power more stuff. Uh, right here 
we're going to have a TV unit, uh, PowerPoint for the TV, extra PowerPoints above the counter. And when we come here, we're yet to install, so this will be a switch for the AC. So the client is requested for an air conditioning unit to be put in the kitchen, so that's the switch for it. Uh, there's additional PowerPoints over here. And these are the light switches for the kitchen. And next door, or right inside here, is the storeroom. So that's quite dark, but we provided, I uh, don't know if you can see it, but we've done the chiseling work. We had to put in the pipe work and the conduit boxes for the PowerPoints for the storeroom. So there's the light switch for the kitchen. And so, so what you've got here is that you have the TV over here and to my left is going to be a small uh, breakfast area so you can have a countertop where the kids or the family can sit and eat whilst you're still enjoying some sort of TV uh, at the opposite end. So from the kitchen, we can walk right across to the dining area. So we're back at the dining area from the kitchen, back at the dining area. So in total, we have uh, five bedrooms a living room and a private lounge with the property. So we'll be keeping you posted with the progress of this works uh, as we go along, because uh, the electrical parts is one of the areas that a number of people have asked us to uh, try and cover and share some information. And uh, it's one of the areas that is quite expensive as well. So we want to be able to break things down so that we can share very detailed information as always. So thank you guys for watching our video. Uh, if you're happy with the footage that you've seen today, kindly do subscribe to our channel, share the video with your friends, and like the video. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Bye.